Welcome to South Asia Today, a show that provides you the glimpses of South Asia. I am your host Shivangi Mishra. Let's begin with the headlines first. Buddha Neelkan Dharamshala built with Indian assistance in Kathmandu. Faculty on strike as cash crunch Karakoram International University fails to pay salaries. And secret month of Shravan begins in India. Let's begin the show. India and Nepal have strived to strengthen their decades-old ties through consistent engagement in different sectors, including social, political and economic fronts. Whether it is trade, politics, culture or people-to-people -people connection, the ties have been witnessing a consistent uptake for decades. In line up of the same principle, recently Buddha Neelikant Dharamshala was constructed with Indian assistance, was handed over to Nepali officials at a ceremony in Kathmandu. Have a look. The Buddha Neelkant Dharamshala built under Indian assistance has been handed over to Nepali authorities in a ceremony in an effort to improve relations between the two countries. The building has been completed two and a half years after the laying of the foundation stone on March 11, 2021. A special ceremony held at the premises of the temple was attended by Nepal's Vice President Ram Sahai Prasad Yadav, Deputy Chief of the Indian Embassy in Kathmandu Prasanna Srivastav, Mathadish of the temple and Nepali lawmakers. नेपाल का धार्मिक क्षेत्रहरू ज्ञान चिंतन र दर्शन को वास्तविक उद्गम स्थल पनि हुन् त्यसैले त नेपाललाई ज्ञान भूमि चिंतन भूमि र तपो भूमि समेत भनेर चिनिन्छ यो सन्दर्भमा भारतीय दूतावासले बुढा नीलकण्ठ मन्दिर क्षेत्रलाई सहयोग गर्दै धर्म रक्षा र परोपकारका लागि धर्मशाला निर्माणमा योगदान गर्नु प्रशंसनीय कुरा अतः भारतीय सरकार लाई हार्दिक धन्यवाद रा आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ। The reconstruction of the Dharmshala at Buddha Nilkanth is the third of 28 cultural heritage conservation and restoration projects being undertaken with the reconstruction cost of 5,800 million Nepali rupees committed by the government of India for the cultural heritage sector. All 28 sites were identified by the government of Nepal and both India and Nepal signed a MOU in this regard in August 2017. The Central Level Project Implementation Unit of the National Reconstruction Authority was the implementing agency. The Dharmshala at Buddha Nilkant is expected to facilitate the visit of pilgrims and tourists to this sacred temple. बुढ़ा नीलकंठ मंदिर काठमांडू घाटी के सबसे महत्वपूर्ण सांस्कृतिक स्थलों और विरासतों में से एक है। इस पवित्र स्थान के संरक्षण और पुनरुद्धार कार्य से जुड़ना भारत सरकार के लिए बड़े सौभाग्य की बात है। इससे पहले भी इस मंदिर के परिसर में मठाधीश भवन भी सरकार भारत सरकार की सहायता से वर्ष 2019 में बनाय उसका निर्माण लगभग 5 करोड़ नेपाली रुपए की लागत से किया गया है। इस पवित्र मंदिर में बड़ी संख्या में आने वाले तीर्थयात्रियों के आराम से ठहरने के लिए इसमें पर्याप्त कमरे हैं, जिसमें सभी सुविधाएं भी हैं। India has worked with Nepal for the restoration of cultural heritage projects in the past also. Earlier in November 2019, the Mathadish building for Buddha Nilkant Temple was built under India's Development Cooperation Scheme at a total cost of 22 million Nepali rupees. Moving on, to celebrate India's presidency of G20 and 75 years of independence, Akashwani or All India Radio, Srinagar is holding a three-month-long entertainment and awareness campaign. Ever since the Union Territory held G20 Tourism Working Group Conference in Srinagar in May, there is a wave of enthusiasm and hope among the people of Kashmir. 
During this three-month campaign, Akashwani is organizing programs such as theatres, debates, music shows and much more to reach the people of Kashmir and make them aware of the positive impact that India's G20 presidency is going to bring in the Union territory. We have a report. Celebrating India's maiden presidency of G20 and 75 years of independence, Akashwani Srinagar is organizing a three-month-long campaign to publicize and disseminate its culture around the globe. The G20 Tourism Working Group Conference held in Srinagar in May has not just promoted the centuries-old traditions of Jammu and Kashmir on international platform, but will also attract big investments in the Union territory. Coincidentally, on July 1st, Akashwani Srinagar also celebrated its 75th anniversary as a part of Azadi Ka Amrit Motsav. आकाशवाणी की तरफ से जो इंडिया की प्रेसिडेंसी है G20 की उसको सेलिब्रेट करने के लिए एक कैंपेन शुरू किया गया है और ये सारे देश भर में दो तीन महीनों तक चलेगा और इस सिलसिले में हम पब्लिक ओरिएंटेड इवेंट्स करेंगे स्टूडियो बेस्ड इवेंट्स करेंगे और مختلف जॉनर्स में प्रोग्राम्स करेंगे उसमें थिएटर्स होंगे उसमें कॉन्सर्ट्स होंगे उसमें डिबेट्स होंगे उसमें यूथ फेस्टिवल्स होंगे और साथ में जो आकाशवाणी का 75th ईयर कंप्लीट होने जा रहा है इस मंथ के एंड पर 1 जुलाई को प्लैटिनम जुबली मन रही है उस सिलसिले को भी आज इसके साथ ही हम सेलिब्रेट कर रहे हैं मकसद यह है कि जो सोच की लेवल पर तब्दीली आ ही गई है उसको कनेक्ट करने के लिए पब्लिक के साथ इंफॉर्मेशन के साथ जोड़ने के लिए हम यह कैंपेन शुरू कर रहे हैं और आज इसकी पहली कड़ी है कुछ पैट्रियोटिक सॉन्ग्स हैं और कुछ डायलॉग्स हैं कश्मीर व्हिच हैज ऑलवेज बीन एट द टॉप ऑफ द बकेट लिस्ट एज द मोस्ट सॉट आफ्टर टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशंस हैज टेकन अ लीप as it anticipates numerous opportunities post the summit to keep a pace with the development drive in Jammu and Kashmir the Akashwani Srinagar is striving to engage more people through its 3 months long campaign Various programs which included the patriotic songs, dialogues and speeches by the experts were led by participants on the occasion of the first episode of its campaign. जी आज मेरे लिए बहुत स्पेशली दिन है यहाँ पे परफॉर्म करने का क्योंकि दो रीजंस हैं एक तो जो सेलिब्रेशन है इंडियाज प्रेसिडेंसी जी ट्वेंटी का दूसरा एक बहुत ही खास मौका आने वाला है अभी पहली जुलाई को जो प्लैटिनम जुबली ऑल इंडिया रेडियो श्रीनगर सेलिब्रेट करने वाला है तो उसके उस हवाले से जो है ये आज कार्यक्रम मनकद किया गया है जिसमें हमें मौका दिया गया ऑल इंडिया रेडियो श्रीनगर का जिसका मैं बहुत बड़ा शुक्रगुजार हूँ कि आज के प्रोग्राम की शुरुआत एक अभी नया एक लंबा सीरीज स्टार्ट होने वाला है प्रोग्राम्स का जिसमें थिएटर भी अभी हमको बताया गया कि वो भी अब आगे कंटिन्यू होगा प्रेजेंटेशंस रहेंगी तो पहला प्रोग्राम हम ही से शुरू किया गया हार्मनी स्क्वायर ऑफ जे के हमारा जो आज प्रेजेंटेशंस दे रहा है तो मुझे बहुत खुशी है इस बात की जी ट्वेंटी जब से स्टार्ट हुआ है तब से आप जैसे जानते ही हैं कि एक बहुत ही कल्चर को लेकर काफ़ी एक हमें देखने को मिल रहा है कि काफ़ी इंक्लिनेशन देखने को मिल रहा है कल्चरल प्रोग्राम्स में जो कि बहुत ही अच्छा एक पॉजिटिव एक मैसेज आता है और हम आर्टिस्टों के लिए हम आर्टिस्ट कम्युनिटीज के लिए कश्मीर की स्पेशली जम्मू कश्मीर की स्पेशली उनके लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट भी था क्योंकि जब तक आर्ट आपका प्रिजर्व नहीं होगा जब तक आर्टिस्ट आपके खुश नहीं होंगे तब तक आपका कल्चर प्रिजर्व नहीं होगा और जहाँ कल्चर नहीं है तो वहाँ पे तो कुछ फिर आगे रहता नहीं है तो इसलिए इस हवाले से जी ट्वेंटी का एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण जम्मू कश्मीर के ऊपर है और आगे भी हमें उम्मीद है इसी तरह भारत सरकार हमें सपोर्ट करती रहेगी और इसी तरह कार्यक्रम आगे चलते रहेंगे Apart from its evident beauty, Kashmir has always stood out from the rest through its world-famous prose and poetry. 
people feel the G20 summit under India's presidency would restore the nobility of its literary works like Sufi poetry and make the world aware of it. मेरे ख्याल में इस प्रोग्राम की जो ज़रूरत थी वही थी कि एक जो एक कौम है हमारी इसमें बहुत सारे ऐसे बड्यूल हैं जिनको बहुत नज़रअंदाज किया गया था तो इस प्रोग्राम की वसादत से हमें ये पता चला कि हम आने वाले दिन में आने वाले वक्त में हम ऐसे अपने मोड्यूल्स जो है हमारे कल्चर हो हैंडीक्राफ्ट हो लिटरेचर हो ट्रांसलेशन हो म्यूज़िक हो फोक म्यूज़िक हो कुछ भी हो तो हम इसको कैसे दुनिया तक पहुँचाएँगे तो इनका ये मकसद ये था कि हमें प्रमोशन कैसे करनी पड़ेगी अपने कल्चर की अपने हेरिटेज की अपने आर्किटेक्चर की अपने आर्ट की तो ये एक ये मकसद था इसके पीछे द पीपल ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर आर ओवर जॉइड एज एन इवेंट अंडर जी ट्वेंटी वॉज प्रोग्रेस सक्सेसफुली इन श्रीनगर इन मे Akashwani Srinagar's 3 month long celebration campaign too is bringing joy among the public of Srinagar. Ye ye Akashwani ka celebration hai. Now we take a look at some happenings in Asia in a segment called Asia Watch. Walking down the alley of Basra's Seventh Day Adventist Evangelical Church bathed in light coming from its stained glass windows the church guardian Fale Hasan Fuad remembers the days when he used to come here with friends from his neighborhood these days are gone he said adding that the community had left most of them emigrated abroad the church founded in 1963 was closed down in 2003 Over the years, Fuad continued to come to the church to preserve it. Recently, the association Dararul Iraq decided to restore the church with works that included removing the bricks that closed windows and doors, cleaning the interior and restoring the facade. Iraq is overwhelmingly Muslim but hosts several ancient Christian communities who now number an estimated 200,000 to 300,000 people from the 1.5 million who lived in the country before the US invasion that toppled Saddam Hussein in 2003. Thousands of protesters carrying Israeli flags and chanting democracy marched through Tel Aviv with some blocking a main highway. lighting fires and facing off with police on horseback the protests broke out as tel aviv's police commander said he was quitting the force citing political intervention by members of prime minister benjamin netanyahu's hard right cabinet whom he said wanted excessive force used against anti government protesters israeli media estimated some 20000 people demonstrated in tel aviv On a Friday morning in late June, the waiting room of a children's hospital on the outskirts of Seoul was packed with dozens of children, many connected to intravenous drips, waiting for hours since 6 a.m. just to see a doctor or secure hospital bed. In May, a 5-year-old child in Seoul with acute laryngitis died after being sent home while not being able to find a bed in multiple hospitals. Doctors are concerned such cases will increase. Pediatricians have blamed the government for lack of appropriate action to fix long brewing problems and had asked for extra budget to attract more doctors into pediatrics. South Korea's Ministry of Health and Welfare acknowledged limitations in the system and said measures were being implemented to address them. The ministry earlier announced measures such as cancelling major hospitals designation as a regional emergency center if pediatric patients are not properly treated. Compared with peers, South Korean pediatricians earn little. Among doctors in 23 clinical departments, pediatricians income was the lowest, according to Health Insurance Review and Assessment Service data. Last month In protest at the government for the lack of support, the Korean Pediatric Association held No Kids Zone seminar to help members leave pediatrics to a better paying field 
roughly 600 out of about 3,000 members flock to hear lectures on skin beauty procedures such as Botox and adult chronic diseases. Moving on. Teachers and staff at Karakoram University in the illegally occupied Gilgit Baltistan held a massive protest against the government of Pakistan. The faculty members and staff complained they did not receive their full salaries. The Pakistan government and the local administration paid no heed to their problems. We have a report. Strikes at colleges and universities in Pakistan-occupied Gilgit Baltistan is a new normal. At the Karakoram International University, the teachers and other staff members are on strike due to non-payment of their salaries. Their anger mounted high when they celebrated the Eid al-Adha festival without any money in hand. The Karakoram National University is facing a severe budgetary deficit and is not able to disperse salaries to the staff members. हमारे ट्रेजर ऑफिस से एक नोटिफिकेशन निकला है कि हमारे पास फंड नहीं है यूनिवर्सिटी क्राइसिस में जा रही है कि पैसे नहीं है कि ये नोटिफिकेशन कल कर रहे हैं हमें ये हुकुमरान हमारा सोचते नहीं है यहां पे जो बैठे हुए जो हमारे वाइस चांसलर साहब को भी सोचना चाहिए और दीगर अफसरान को भी अगर यूनिवर्सिटी डिफाइनर हो रही है इनको पता है तो ये अपना गाड़ियां भी खड़ा क्यों नहीं करती है अपना गाड़ियां इनको खड़ा करना चाहिए और यूनिवर्सिटी के दूसरे दीगर मामला जो है उनको क्लोज करना चाहिए और टीडी मत में मुख्तलिफ मदों में ये लोग पैसे खाते हैं ये चीजें जो बंद करना चाहिए इनके साथ हम भी ये हमारा यूनिवर्सिटी हम चाहे हम ये नहीं चाहते कि अब हम ही दे दे अगर ऐसे मामला हम यूनिवर्सिटी के साथ है अगर ये यूनिवर्सिटी आज नहीं हमारे नसूल तक ये यूनिवर्सिटी चाहिए The university made numerous requests to the federal and provincial governments but no financial support was received to pay salaries to the staff members. The protesting faculty and staff members have now threatened to intensify their protests if the issue is not resolved speedily. This is the second day of the Karakram University in the Karakram University in the Karakram University in the Karakram University. सब मिलकर स्ट्राइक पे हैं कोई क्लासेस नहीं हो रही हैं पेंड ऑन स्ट्राइक है क्लासों का बॉयकार्ड है और बकायदा है वो जा रहे हैं इस वक्त तक हम हमारे साथ किसी ने कांटेक्ट भी नहीं किया जी भी गवर्नमेंट ने भी नहीं किया फेडरल गवर्नमेंट से भी कहीं सुनवाई नहीं है हमारा इंतजार जारी है जब तक हमारे हमें हमारी कटौती जो की है उसका दोबारा नोटिफिकेशन नहीं होता है उस तक ये इंतजार जारी रहेगा the Pakistan government is giving no significance to educational institutions in the occupied territories including Gilgit Baltistan. The protests by students and faculty members of Karakoram International University indicates the poor state of the education system in the region. In India, the month of Shravan holds a great significance for Hindus. This month, dedicated to Lord Shiva, is all about devotion, fasting and prayers. This year, Shravan will extend for a duration of two months, which is a rarity seen after almost two decades. Let's take a look at how Hindus in India are observing Shravan. As the monsoon rains drench the earth, the auspicious month of Shravan begins. It is a time when devotees embark on a journey of spiritual significance. Shravan is a holy month that is dedicated to Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati. Devotees flock to temples in parts of northern India to offer prayers and took holy dips in the Ganga River, offering prayers, milk, water and bilva leaves to Shiva. A huge number of devotees were seen at temples in various Indian cities who sought the blessings of Shiva for the peace and prosperity of their families. It is believed that anyone who worships Lord Shiva with a whole heart in this holy month gets all their desires fulfilled. I have come here to the Lord Shiva. It's a very great joy that I have come here to the Lord Shiva. During the holy month, the Mondays of Shravan is considered to be one of the most auspicious days. Many disciples observe fast on this day and pray to Shivling every day. 
Some people just eat one meal a day while others only eat fruits and skip grains and they received Shiva's blessings and found their desired life partner. Throughout the whole month of Shravan, devotees travel to sacred locations and temples while carrying water pots and wearing bright attire as part of the Kavad Yatra, a holy mission. Kavadiyas collect holy water from the Ganga and return back to the temples and offer the water on the Shivling. The Kavad Yatra is not just a journey, it is a collective experience of devotion and camaraderie. बाबा आनंदेश्वर के दरबार में हम सब लोग उपस्थित हुए हैं और यहाँ जो भी सच्चे मन से लोग प्रार्थना करते हैं और मांगते हैं तो निश्चित रूप से उनकी प्रार्थना बाबा आनंदेश्वर सुनते हैं और उनकी मुराद पूरी होती है एज पर दिंदू कैलेंडर श्रावण इज द फिफ्थ होली मंथ एंड द मानसून सीजन इन इंडिया इज एसोसिएटेड विद लॉर्ड शिवा एंड इट इज बिलीव दैट प्रेइंग टू हेम ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड हेल्प ब्रिंग लक एंड प्रॉस्पेरिटी टू दिवटीज It's time for me to wrap up today's episode. We'll be back next week at the same time. This is Shivangi Mishra signing off on the behalf of the entire production team of South Asia today. Goodbye and take care.